Let's play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today we are completing the Princess Zelda Kidnap side adventure in West Nakluda. This sounds serious. What's up YouTube? I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming. Gaming for fun. And today, I'm gonna show you how to solve this side adventure. And this adventure doesn't actually start in West Nakluda. And I'm not fibbing, I'll tell you why. This side adventure actually activates when you activate the potential princess sighting side adventure at the Lucky Clover Gazette. A quick recap, after you activate the Lookout Landing Skyview Tower, a giant white seagull, I think, tells you about a reporter job. It says to go to the Lucky Clover Gazette, formerly Rito Stable, where the newspaper is stationed. There, Tracy, who you may remember from Breath of the Wild who loved to gossip, she tells you she'll keep your identity quiet and give you the froggy armor, which allows for non-slip climbing. If you partner up with Penn and help with the investigation to find Princess Zelda. To do this, you need to travel to all of the stables. And this time we are at, or should I say on top of the Dueling Peak Stable. I'm not kidding. There are two ways to get on top, and that's gliding down from the Isha Shrine. Oh, and if you need the solution to that shrine, you can find it down below in the description and at the end of this video. Otherwise, you can just ascend from right inside the stable and that will bring you to the middle of the stable and then just ascend under the horse's head and you'll find Pen right on top. He becomes startled when you take advantage of this opportunity to sneak up on him. Yeah, okay. In his defense, he is a little on edge because Princess Zelda's been kidnapped by the Yiga clan. They even sent a message to the newspaper claiming that they kidnapped the princess. They said that they have taken her to the carved out heart of the towering twins. Naturally, Penn thought of the Dueling Peaks, so let's go investigate. And he's right about one thing, Dueling Peaks is the right place. On the left peak, if you're facing the peaks and facing away from the stable, there's a big area carved out. Mm? And that's where she's being held. The hard part is getting there. Okay, it's not that hard to get up there. I'll tell you how. You can climb from the north end of the Dueling Peaks, it's rather like a big hill because it's not very steep, or you can glide from the Saharsa Slope Skyview Tower. But there's an even easier way. If you turn around after speaking to Penn, up ahead and by the waterfall, in that pond, a piece of Skyland will fall. Sometimes right away, other times it takes a bit, but I've tested this and it always eventually falls. And now you can climb on top of it and recall it until you get high enough to glide over to at least the right peak. Then you can make your way to the carved out area. To find that area, you will see an army camp up ahead. From there, if you look across the way to the other peak, you can see some burning torches and Princess Zelda being held in a cage. Can you believe this? Glide down to her and she will beg you for help. And by the way, you can totally fuse the cage to your shield. But after the cage is removed, she reveals herself to not be Princess Zelda, but actually it's three members of the Yiga clan disguised as one Zelda. The fastest and easiest way to take care of three Yiga foot soldiers at once is with a puff shroom. These things are magical. You just throw it on the ground and bing pot. They don't even know where you are. Puff shrooms can be found all over in the depths. But anyway, after the Yiga leave with their tails between their legs, Pen comes down to see what the heck Link is doing over here, and apparently didn't see a thing that just happened. After Link explains that it was a trap devised by the Yiga clan to lure him up there, Pen, the bird brain we know and love, can't understand why the Yiga would target this Link. It's not like he's the legendary swordsman or anything. He tells you that being that this is your sixth Zelda-related story, you get your payment to put in your nest egg of a dun 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 100 rupees. And with that, he's off. So long. And that, boys and girls, is where we call it a day. If you enjoyed this video, or maybe you learned something new, be sure to smash that like button and punch that bell right in the face. And if you're still not satisfied, check out the merch below. With that being said, this is KK Jinx, over and out.